Morning and welcome back to another video and today we're going to be going over the basic setup for Worth It. Let us begin. So when it comes towards the add-on of Worth It, which all disclosure is my add-on, it shows you basically gold farms values before you even do them. This works by gaining the averages of what you get for a standard gold farm, which we actually farm up with real-time data, and then it will value it for you for an array of different types of materials, mounts, pets, all that stuff. It covers mining, herbalism, fishing, skinning, cloth, miscellaneous, multi-farms, which is herbalism and mining, mounts, toys, raw gold. Raw gold needs to be rebuilt, so don't worry about that. Uh, raid pets, open world pets, rare pets, as well as for flipping, you can adjust it for that. But the main thing that you want to do on the dashboard is go down to configuration because if you haven't got it configured yet to your preferences, then it's going to be quite hard for you. By default, it will come in at DB, mar DB min buyout. However, you can set this to custom. Now, I prefer to use this on custom because you can use a TSM string. Primarily, it will give you two different options, which is for the current content that you are actually farming for. So, i.e. for us is Dragonflight, which is the custom current content price source. And then for Legacy is anything other than that. So you can set your old world materials and mounts and all that stuff to something else from the old world, whereas for the new stuff, you can set that to something else as well. However, for me, I just have a bog standard one for like basic crafting, but if we go into my TSM profile and we just go over to operations and we go to my auctioning quickly, we can then just go to my standard basic material post. I can grab this string here, I can copy it, and then I can immediately go back into configuration for worth it, and I can then paste that in there, as well as post that in there as well. That will immediately save and change all of the values within worth it. This means that well, what I'm actually posting to the auction house materials is actually going to show you inside of worth it what the materials are going to be worth. If you did now is worth, then immediately posted them to the auction house, which is generally what all of us do. So if we go into mining, for instance, the dark iron ore farm will give us 6,728 gold. This will go for other things, such as if we go to mounts, we can see that the Tudor reigns of the terrified pack mill. If we farm that up today and we actually got one, very, very hard to get a hold of, so you're probably not going to get one in an hour, but that's around about 400k gold. It's things like that for configuration for yourself. You can make your own custom strings based on worth its custom price source to get started. Other different things when it comes towards worth it as a crash course is you can actually record your own farms. If you go down to tools and recorder, or you can then press shift click, it will bring up the recorder for you. This will actually record a gold farm for you, just like Loot Appraiser. However, with this, you can turn on edit mode, you can rename the gold farm's name, locate, change the location, adapt any of the different types of things that you have, but overall, it gives you the ability to save. This means that you can save these buttons into your farms. So if you go back in and you go to my farms, you can see that my Skettis farm for Shadow Dust is around about 11,807 gold. Whereas the Damp Scale Basilisk Sky one that I farmed up myself was, is now 9,876. So as well as all the preset gold farms that you have within Worth It, you can see that as well as your own gold farms as well as all of that. It gives everyone the option. Now that being said, you can also import. Now if you go to tools and import, you can import a gold farm. This goes for if you are in my farms, you can select the tab and you can click export which will give you an export string which you can share to your friend, or if you're another gold maker, you can share your gold farm with another gold maker. They can import your, de your data that you've gathered to give them a, a rough average. You can also add roots towards this if you have the roots add-on installed. Remember, Worth It runs off of TSM. It used to run with the Undermine Journal, 
However, that one's not being supported anymore because the Undermine Journal is not supporting materials and predominantly it's very hard for a very material heavy dense add-on to be using that price source. So it just makes sense in that regard. When it comes towards flipping, it actually will do that for you as well. Now I have a ton, which I actually have on my website, which is dallagigstudios.com. You can see that in the link in the description, but there is a ton of different types of flips, like a lot of these ones that I have here that are telling me profit for prospecting and all that stuff, which is on the website for anyone to actually grab the export. I believe it's only the alchemy ones which are on the Patreon, along with a load of other different types of gold making resources. Now, if you do not have TSM installed, it will tell you and it won't display any of this. It will just tell you how to install TSM in order to actually use this add-on because it is very heavily reliant on the Trade Skill Master add-on data in order to actually make it run. That being said, you can go into different types of things like setting up your own flips and also your own farms. So anything that we've got preset, you can create for yourself with your own additional gold farms or flips inside of Worth It. And it's to basically see whether a gold farm or a gold method is worth it for you to do right now before you even go ahead and do it. That being said, if you want a more in-depth guide on how worth it works, because there are quite a lot of tools that I know a lot of you guys do not know, I'll be happy to break this down for you into a step-by-step -step mini guide series. If you would like that, then please let me know in the comments down below. Other than that, have an awesome rest of the day, and I shall see you in the next video, which will be soon. Mm -hmm.